MLAG, multi-chassis link aggregation, and switch stacking are two different techniques used in networking to enhance redundancy and improve network performance. They serve similar goals but are implemented differently. The key elements of MLAG, multi-chassis link aggregation, are 1. Redundancy. MLAG provides redundancy by allowing multiple physical switches to work together as a single logical switch. In the event of a failure, traffic can seamlessly switch to the surviving switch without disruption. 2. Topology. MLAG typically involves connecting servers or network devices to two different physical switches, providing redundancy at the access layer of the network. 3. Interoperability. MLAG is not limited to a specific switch vendor and can be implemented with switches from different manufacturers as long as they support the MLAG protocol. 4. Complexity. MLAG can be more complex to configure and manage because it requires the network administrator to set up and maintain the MLAG configuration on each switch. 5. Load balancing. MLAG can provide load balancing between the two switches, distributing traffic across the links to optimize network performance. The key elements of switch stacking are 1. Redundancy. Switch stacking involves physically connecting multiple switches to create a single logical switch, similar to MLAG. However, it may not provide the same level of redundancy as MLAG. In some stacking configurations, one switch can serve as the master, and others as backups. 2. Topology. Switch stacking typically focuses on connecting multiple switches in a vertical or daisy-chained configuration, often at the distribution or core layer of the network. 3. Interoperability. Stacking is typically limited to switches of the same model or series from a specific vendor. Mixing different switch vendors or models in a stack is less common. 4. Simplicity. Switch stacking can be easier to set up and manage because the switches function as a single unit, with one master switch handling the configuration. 5. Load balancing. While switch stacking can offer some load balancing, it may not provide the same level of granularity as MLAG, as traffic is typically distributed across the stack rather than between individual switches. In summary, both MLAG and switch stacking offer redundancy and improved network performance, but they are applied in different network layers and scenarios. MLAG is often used at the access layer to connect servers and network devices to redundant switches, while switch stacking is more common at the distribution or core layer to create a single logical switch with multiple physical devices. The choice between MLAG and switch stacking depends on factors such as network design, hardware compatibility, and the level of redundancy and load balancing required for a specific environment. Subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.